Measurement and assessment exist in all aspects of our lives. Political candidates measure their likelihood of an election through polling. Department of Motor Vehicles assess your competency to operate a car by administering a multiple choice test as well as a behind the wheel road test. Corporations measure the success of their marketing campaigns. And schools and districts may measure the effectiveness of their programs, curriculum, and practices. Educators measure students' skills, knowledge, and affect. Hi, my name is Arlen Peebles with the Illinois Principals Association, and today we're sitting down with Laura Belchenko to talk about an introduction to assessment literacy, her new Ed Leaders Network course. Laura, thanks for being on the show with us. Thanks for inviting me, Arlen. So my first question is, what does it really mean to be assessment literate? Well, one thing that we want to make sure that all educators understand is the purpose of administering assessments. Uh, in the current practices that we have in our schools now, many people believe that we are over-assessing, and I probably wouldn't disagree with that. But it's not necessarily the amount of assessments that you are going to administer to a student. The idea is to ensure that we are getting appropriate data and we're actually using the data to improve student achievement. So that would be the overarching idea that I believe I want teachers to walk away with when they think about how can I be an assessment literate educator. And why is assessment literacy so important to us in education? Well, I think the one major feature of understanding assessment literacy and why we really, truly want to embrace it is the fact that if we don't understand how to measure students' progress toward goals, objectives, and outcomes, then we're not going to be able to fully develop their educational fitness for their future. And that is what we really are truly trying to do. Got it. And why is assessment so important to the educational process? It is part of the fabric of what education is all about. Um, we don't know as educators if we are reaching a student appropriately unless we have some means of measurement. But educational fitness, as well as our understanding as educators of what kids need, is to also measure how the curriculum is actually flowing. And we can determine another part of uh, assessment literacy is to measure not only what students are doing, but to also measure how is our curriculum doing? Are we using the appropriate resources? Are we uh, assessing the students so that it measures what the curriculum also is doing? but also what it may not be doing. So assessment literacy involves not only assessing what the curriculum is doing for the student and for the teacher and for the district, but also then again, making sure that our kids are getting what they actually need. Talk to me a little bit about learning targets and their role in the assessment process. Oh, that's a great question. Um, when we look at what a learning target is, you also might want to consider that to be what is your objective. Um, I'm going to go into, for example, a writing process with a student, and my overarching objective or a target is at the very end that I'm going to have a student that will be able to write an opinion write an argument, um, or they're going to be able to write a, a narrative. Many children are very familiar with writing narratives, but what a target will be is, do they understand the entire writing process, and how involved will they be when we give them appropriate feedback to maybe make some corrections to make the writing better than what it started. And what does this assessment look like in the classroom? What kind of shape and form does it take? Oh, assessments will take on multiple different kinds of, of shapes and forms. One thing that we want to make sure is if we are, um, we want to vary the different kinds of assessments to match. We call that a target method match. This is the method. This is the, the target that we're trying, the learning target that we're trying to assess. So what we'll do is we'll try to create, is a multiple choice assessment appropriate at this time? Or maybe an extended response is more appropriate. Um, maybe we want, we want to, um, um, find out if a student um, understands their mathematical fitness, and we're not going to just give them a litany of a bunch of, uh, of algorithms to solve, but we're actually going to create something into a real-world situation. So we're going to have a target, then we're going to match that target with the appropriate assessment, and then we're going to look and see where the outcomes will lead us. And tell me a little bit about feedback and the importance of interpreting 
assessment results? Oh, that's another outstanding question. Um, there are um, many schools of thought on what we're doing with feedback for children. One of the things that we know from the work of um, uh, a gentleman by the name of John Hattie is that he did uh, many meta-analyses of what works in schools. And through his work, we found out that an effect size, which basically is meaning how effective is that method to improving student achievement, John Hattie shared with us that feedback is probably one of the best things that you can do for um, for student achievement. So let's say, for example, you um, assess, uh, you're, you want to find out how well a student is doing in their writing. And so they do some writing for you. And then all the teacher would do would be to grade how well their grammar was, or did they punctuate appropriately. That's not really giving students appropriate feedback on how well their writing process is. So we want to give them not only feedback, feedback um, on, on helping the student to correct the work. But the idea also is, how is the student receiving the feedback so that eventually they will take those corrections and they will turn those into positive educational practices? Well, thank you so much for your time, Laura. You. This has been Laura Belchanko. Her ELN course is an introduction to assessment literacy, and you can find a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and take care.